Hey, Canucks fans. It looks like the Canucks are going to defend by committee, i.e. not commit to set defensive pairs. I want to talk to you and see if you guys think that makes sense given their personnel or if you think they should go with a much more traditional approach. Now, it's important because there's only two more preseason games. They have one tonight in Abbotsford hosting the Seattle Kraken and their final tune-up game this Friday at Rogers Arena against the Calgary Flames. I will be there let me know if you're going to be there as well. So tonight's game streamed not on Sportsnet, but they will have it on the Canucks YouTube channel. So if you want to check it out, sounds like, um, as I talked about in my streams the last couple of days, Elias Pettersson will not play. He will not play. He's been, he's missed practice the last two days with a flu. So it doesn't make sense to play him tonight. Rest him for Friday. And then uh, that if, if McCabe doesn't play, you already have your 12 forwards in, in Studnika playing in the top line with Kuzmenko and Beauvillier, then Miller, Besser, PDG, Di Giuseppe, a third line of Suter, Garland, and Joshua, and a fourth line of Bluger, Amon, and Hoaglander. Then defense is where, and this is what I'm going to talk about today, defense is where it gets a little bit tricky because they still have nine defensemen on the roster. They're probably going to drop down, at least cut one, if not two. So some three guys are going to have to sit tonight. And conventional wisdom would say you play Breezeball, Will Lannan, and Juleson, your most inexperienced, well, three of the most inexperienced, and you probably play Cole McWard, and then you play two of Hughes, Susie, Myers, Hronick, and Cole. So we'll see what happens tonight because uh, I predict they'll make one more, one or two more cuts between tonight and Friday night, and then go into the last uh, preseason game with their with their full roster. But that's just a guess. So let's talk about the defense. Now, Rick Tockett said a couple of days ago that. He does. He's not sure they're going to have true partners on D. Rather, they're going to defend by committee. Now, uh, this might sound surprising. I know I was surprised when I first heard this because traditionally, you there's so many advantages to having at least a set defensive partner, knowing that they could very well change not only during the season but within a game. And we've seen that already when the Canucks started a preseason game with Cole and and Hronik, and they moved to Susie and Hronik halfway through the game. So we, we get that these are flexible, that these pairings can change. But if you're a defenseman, and I think you do want to know who you're playing with, just from a standpoint of knowing their tendencies, knowing which one of us is going to break the puck out. Well, if it's Quinn Hughes, it's always him. Who's going to stay behind? Who? Um, when do you like to switch back to, you know, switch sides and recover, uh, cover for each other? But it's more of the tendencies, the patterns, the communication, the chemistry. And that's what you get when you play with a regular defensive partner now if you're going by committee i.e not playing with a, a defensive partner then um, you lose a lot of those things that would come naturally the communication the chemistry the tendencies the patterns um, anticipation all those things and now you're relying more just on general hockey iq so th because you're doing that then maybe the connects will be okay because they five of their six guys are experienced good uh, not amazing, but good NHL players. And, of course, I'm talking about Quinn Hughes, who is outstanding. Philip Hronick, who I think can be really, really good. And then you have Myers, Cole, and Susie, who are fine. They're, they're NHL players. They're not maybe top pairing guys, but they're fine. But why I'm surprised that um, that they want to go by committee. I don't worry so much about the third pairing or even the second pairing with Hronick because you can just cycle guys through. But you think to maximize uh, Quinn Hughes' talent and his ability that you want at least to find a really good partner for him because he's the guy that's going to be skating 24, 25, 26 minutes a night. Uh, and then, uh, you know, at least from an even strength perspective, you want uh, the same guy with them all the time. Now, maybe talk it's comments were based on Cole McCord and Cole McCord um, has been good. He hasn't been amazing, but he's been good. Remember he was signed out of college at the end of last season, played five games or so. And he's basically being Quinn Hughes's main playing partner this preseason. I don't know if that's going to change, before the regular season. I don't know why it would. I don't know why you'd go with with one pairing all preseason and then change right right before the regular season. So we'll see. So Cole McWard obviously stands out as the least experienced of the rest of those guys. Again, Hughes, Hronick, Cole, Susie, and Myers. But maybe it's because of that inexperience, because Rick Tockett doesn't want to commit to him right away that he made that comment about defending by committee. And when he was saying that, he was basically... Um, talking about who's going to play with Quinn Hughes. Because I, I think, obviously, he's the most important player back there, not just because he's the captain, our best defensive player, so you want him, our best defenseman, so you want 
him with a, at least a steady playing partner for his sake as well. Now, when we went in the season, for some reason, because both Ian Cole and Carson Susie can play the right side, in my head, I had Hughes with Ian Cole because Ian Cole kind of could fulfill the Chris Tan of Luke Shen role, a big guy, stand up for his teammates, stand up for Quinn Hughes, defend the, the, the front of the net, decent first pass out so at least Quinn Hughes can skate with the puck. And I thought they were going to go, and I, I said it all, pre all all summer, I should say. I said I thought they were going to go with Hughes Cole, Susie Myers. Sorry, Hughes Cole, Susie Hronick, and then and then uh, someone with Myers. And then you'd have to fill in that third pairing left side. But Rick Talkett has since come out and said he likes lefties on the left, righties on the right. So that's why so far Cole and Susie have been on the left side. And now you seem weak on the right because now you only have Hronick and Myers. And it looks like McCord. So instead of Hughes and Cole, we've seen Cole paired with firstly Phil Hronick and now Cole paired with Tyler Myers. And then we've seen Susie move up to play with Phil Hronick and then Cole McCord is playing with Quinn Hughes. So all to say, this defending by committee could work, could work because five of the six guys are experienced. But the thing I have against it, or I don't like about it, is, is this defending by committee really hurt the player it hurts the most i think is our best player our best defenseman in quinn hughes now when he was asked about it he says he thinks he can make it that they can make it work because the guys are talented enough and are, are good enough but he also was quick to say um it's preferable that you play with the same guy all the time and for all the reasons that i talked about at the start of this at the start of this vlog which is fine i think it's fine for quinn hughes to say it's not like he's rocking the boat he was asked a question as a good articulate captain, he's always going to give his answer. So we will see, you guys, how long that this defending by committee lasts. And if defending by committee means simply that he's not going to commit to a partner for Quinn Hughes, but on paper, at least, and when they start games, it's going to be Hughes, McCord, Susie, Hronick, Cole Myers, then it is what it is. And that's what we will see for the next little bit. So Canucks fans, let me know. When you hear defending by committee, are you fine with it, given who we have? Or does that concern you? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to read your thoughts. Shout out to my sponsors, Van City Experts Real Estate, Perform and Transform, Personal Training Weight Loss. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Carol Bovenlander, legendary Andrew Chang, and the Hall of Famer franchise members as well. Thanks to all of you for watching, for subscribing, and for liking this video. Don't forget tonight, 11 p.m., my regular 11 p.m. live stream, we'll be doing a game recap and then preview the last uh, couple days of the preseason schedule. Tonight, uh, we're one week away from the Canucks home opener, the Canucks season opener. Can't believe we're almost already there. Pretty, pretty cool. So again, join me tonight at 11 p.m. right here on my YouTube channel for my live stream. In the meantime, subscribe, like the video, leave a donation, become a member, and, and leave a comment down below um, your thoughts on this defending by committee. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? See you tonight at 11 p.m. Stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Have a great day. God bless. Go, can I go?